Twitch and Degeneracy, name a more iconic duo, I'll wait. Twitch is the pioneer of online live streaming, but in recent years, it's tanked its own reputation by seemingly making the wrong decision at every Bro. turn. It seems that every aspect of Twitch, whether it's the user base, streamers, mod team, or admin, Disgusting. has some sort of degeneracy seeped into it at this point. Whether the down... Admittedly, the dark truth is, for Twitch it doesn't matter if it tanks its reputation. The reality is, there's nothing currently better than Twitch. Facebook is an absolute joke that currently has laid off more than 13k people and its stock price has absolutely plummeted. YouTube seems like a good alternative, but the reality there is, well, if Dr. Respect could go back to Twitch and ditch YouTube, he would choose Twitch in a heartbeat. Because when you're a huge creator, Twitch and YouTube is like night and day. On YouTube, smaller channels actually have a better chance to be found and become big if you are lucky enough even. But on Twitch, it's the big fish who gets spotted. If you're big, congratulations. You're gonna be at the front of the section. Something new comes out, congratulations. All the people are gonna flood to the top channels in the category that you are in. And if you're big, you want to be on Twitch, because it's just better. Admittedly, YouTube does give a huge, huge, huge payday if you join them in a lot of cases, but still, Twitch is the place to be, no matter how bad it honestly gets currently. ...of Twitch is the result of any of these parties can be debated. Such as Twitch mods banning people seemingly based on personal opinion, Ooh. streamers getting drunk and making out with fans' wives, and Twitch viewers nice. like someone who sued Twitch for $25 million because he played with his joystick too much, <laughs> which caused him to chafe his... Remember when Twitch was about gaming? Yeah, my joystick also doesn't remember chicken and sustain injuries. Some parts of this equation is funny, some parts... I remember this one. This guy was f absolutely shwasted, and he accidentally discharged the gun. 10 out of 10. Now this is the Twitch that we sub for. Remember? Remember Soda Poppin' when he pissed in his pool, and his life was a, a mini-series of jackass about doing stupid shit? Those were the times, my friend. This equation is funny, some parts are depressing, and some are just a bit enraging. So today we're looking at all of this and much more on Twitch Degenerates. God help us all. Twitch is the most parasocial platform on the nice. internet, and it's not even really close. Amrant, the number one girl on Twitch, the literal most popular female streamer on Twitch, the female face of Twitch, well, I, actually, they are trying their most desperate to make Pokimane the female face of Twitch, but in reality, it's Amrant. You know, uh, the... Abuse victim who will probably uh, after two years get a new boyfriend and be abused again because that's literally the uh, Life balance that she has set up for herself not to mention an OnlyFans model for women Twitch is just a literal pipeline to OnlyFans if she had the choice between Twitch and OnlyFans Guess which one she's choosing <laughs> And it would not even be a question. Do you want to be a million, multi-millionaire or do you don't want to just be a millionaire? Disgusting. On YouTube, you can almost never directly communicate with your favorite content creators. Whereas on Twitch, this communication is one of the main functions. And it's as simple as opening your wallet. This is, bi this is one of the biggest things on Twitch. And it's honestly one of the best things on Twitch because it's kind of funny, you know? A lot of stupid viewers comment, a lot of people do stupid things. It, crea it creates good entertainment. It doesn't matter that uh, this is the whole reason why most people nowadays know what the word parasocial relationship means. But it's funny. Now obviously there's nothing inherently wrong with this system, but some people don't understand that just because you donate to somebody doesn't mean you know them, even if you think you do. While but most it Twitch does. users don't develop parasocial relationships, you could see how somebody who is a bit unhinged could do so. This can lead to audiences prying into streamers' lives, maybe a bit more than they should. Disgusting. And it's as simple as giving the audience what I they- I mean, pokey may not the fact that uh, people are prying into other people's lives. That's your choice. They want to start this relationship. But some people don't understand that a Twitch streamer is not their toy, most of the time. But maybe <laughs> they could be their- I mean, look at Alinity. If she's not a toy, then what is she actually supposed to be? Is there a personality in there? Don't know. Honestly, big doubt. 
is there any IQ behind that uh, that skull? Uh, definitely not. One hundred percent not. Is her personality literally describable as well? Viewership goes down, so once a month I'll do a nip slip. Yes, yes, it can. Eye candy, which is where simp culture comes from, and the only way to counter simp culture is with anti-simp culture. Meet Eric Estevez. Nice. While you might not know his name, you definitely know him. An avid Twitch watcher, UCLA alumni, gamer. Consider standing out in front of the shuttle that's running in front of the hotel. If you, if you, if your personality can be described as a gamer, <laughs> yeah, you're probably gonna end up a simp. Let's be real here. That is that that that's a that's a very likely outcome and where your tax dollars go. Eric is exactly what I'm talking about. After living off disability for years, Eric decided he was going to stand the dream. up for the little guy and take on the Amazon-backed Twitch. He had enough of Twitch's antics and unfairness to him. So he decided to take them to court and sue them for 25 million US <laughs> dollars. For what reason, you might ask? Well, he claimed that Twitch plastered too many women on his front page, which caused him to beat off with a flashlight, which caused him injuries on his Johnson, which led to... Uh, that's, that's gross. Also, he claimed that because of Twitch... Has to use Neosporin on his tip to prevent necrosis. Ooh, do you want to guess which tip he's talking about? The plaintiff often st uh, stays up for hours staring at... At the breasts of girl streamers, which end up damaging his retina, making his eyes bloodshot. I mean, true. So, what's the problem here? Which showing him these women, he physically could not look away, causing his eyes to be bloodshot red and strained. And, of course, as you would expect, he, uh... The plaintiff once ejaculated on his PC monitor, causing a short circuit and a small fire within the electricity system of his gaming rig and causing his apartment to black out temporarily. Uh, I, I don't think you need to add this part about the apartment blanking out temporarily. You're just, you know, adding useless things here. The big thing is that you almost got an electric shock because you came on the monitor, which is... Actually an achievement. I can't do that honestly. The distance is just far too big for it to, to travel. So wow, this this guy is taking things seriously, huh? Uh, did his business on his computer and caused a short circuit, causing a temporary blackout. He demanded 25 million dollars from Twitch as well as every streamer listed in the complaint to be banned. Notably <laughs> named such I actually I mean, I know about this. I have heard about this. When he mentioned the streamers being bad, oh my, this is the guy who wanted to ban the thoughts. Oh yeah, righteous de retribution. Oh, Sims gamers unite because we will rid Twitch of the tottery that has prevailed for far too long. Twitch will be pure once more. Pokemane, Alinity, and Amaranth. Obviously. Also, I should mention he was following 786 female streamers <laughs> and zero male streamers. Now That's my... That, dude, dude, you, you know this guy is for real. This guy is not 2% gay. This guy is not 1% gay. This guy is literally 0% homosexuales. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine. I, I, imagine this is also legit. The fact that he's following zero males <laughs> almost makes me feel like this is like this was not a money grab. Male streamers. Now, unfortunately for the gamers union, this case was thrown out in California. Shit. But Eric still has chance to follow through with this suit. Taking Hopefully. inspiration from the Joker, he states how it's not about the money. It's about I'm not joking. Eric has also sued many other companies such as Sony, Apple, Insomniac Games, GameSpot, Microsoft for giving Obviously. him the ring of death, Obviously. and Sony again, who he again. claimed ruined his social life when he got banned from PlayStation as he was not able to receive social interaction outside. Place Wait, that actually makes perfect s sense. Well, it doesn't make perfect sense, but let's be real. Do you think this will not be an actual, actual worthwhile sue in like five to ten years? I think it will be. 
I think you will be able to sue a company for banning you off your favorite platform because you are completely incapable of getting any other social interactivity otherwise. This is insane. And the, and the guy was uh, disabled, he said at the start. So, yeah, that's actually a reasonable thing to sue for. Imagine, Sony bans you for, you know, probably actually reasonably reason, uh, reasonable reasons. And, and then you have no more social interaction. In five years, I think you will be legitimately able to sue a company for that. Interaction outside. PlayStation was the only place he could get some sort of human communication, and more Big. importantly, meet girls. Now, Twitch and Sanos are pretty- <laughs> What an idiot! There's no females on the internet, it's always a dude pretending to be a, a girl. Oh, who has not fallen for an unescaped girlfriend? Uh, it's, it's always a dude. And it's always a dude named Carl. Pretty common, and unfortunately not all of them are as ridiculously funny as Eric here. Some are quite intense and, quite frankly, disturbing. How about Ginny TTY, who had a fan scour through Discord messages, Steam achievements, okay. created fucking graphs of a chatter on her stream, and coordinated all of that with her Steam account, as well as her menstrual cycle to find out <laughs> if she had slept with a certain person or not. Now, believe it or not... Wait, that's a completely reasonable thing to do, first of all. Second of all, did he succeed? I wonder. Probably not because he was an idiot. But, uh, but you know, that that's a good question. Can you... Because this is, by the way, this is no joke. Things like this are technically possible to do. It's really complicated, but technically, this is possible. Uh, this story is pretty tame compared to the other stalker stories that seem to be dime a dozen on Twitch, some of which are quite terrifying. Nice. Weirdly enough, a lot of people will start Twitch nice. channels with the intention of stream sniping or somehow getting attention by essentially stalking them. So I'm not gonna pretend streaming is an easy job because it's not when you have to deal with bullshit like this, as well as sitting at a desk or walking around every day for hours can be difficult when you're constantly <laughs> trying to entertain people. You thought coal mining was hard? Try ending up on the front page of live stream fails. Being a streamer is going True. to attract a certain type of person who is capable of quite literally being terminally online. I saw this clip. I, I, I saw Tyler do this live. Beautiful. <laughs> His reaction was not fake at all. His reaction was 100% real. He was so beyond fucking shocked and pissed when this happened. It was beautiful. Fine. Now, there's a lot of degenerate streamers out there. True. The most iconic one we're not going to talk about today being Only Use Me Blade, whose story nice. you probably know. I don't know but... who that is, by the way. If you don't, his Twitch was basically... I mean, how can you actually follow all these Twitch degens? You can probably uh, uh, write into YouTube, Twitch Degenerate Story, and you will find like 20 different videos with 20 different people with very minor overlap. Watch a man spiral into the depths of depravity, somehow getting worse and... That honestly sounds fun. ...worse every stream nice. of his own actions. While he is most certainly a degenerate and maybe a criminal, he's not the funniest <laughs> degenerate on Twitch. That crown goes to Why maybe a criminal, though? What, what has he allegedly done? I want to know. The infamous Burger Andy. He's maybe not okay. as despicable as Blade, but he's certainly just as pathetic. You see, around the year 2016, IRL <laughs> streaming was a huge phenomenon. Instead Throw. of watching people play video... Dude, IRL streaming was so big for a while, and it honestly, it honestly just brought out the absolute worst that Twitch had to offer. Oh my god, IRL streaming was the shit. The bad things that happened there were absolutely legendary. The problem was I actually did not watch anyone IRL stream at all. Maybe a little, you know, a wreckful. Admit, yeah, wreckful. And that's pretty much it. That was it. Idol streaming, that, that's it. I never watched anyone else do it. Video games, you could watch them just go about their normal lives outside. The most iconic of these streamers being Ice Poseidon, who had people follow him around and basically groupie him to be a... Ice Poseidon started fake, uh, faking shit later on for things and people started disliking him a lot for it. And, well, now he has scammed his viewers for literal... 
a couple of mil, I think, in crypto and shit like that. It's pretty hilarious. Like, Ice Poseidon is the worst type of person in the world. But the good part is, he's probably 100% dying from a drug overdose. So, you know, there's a little bit of cosmic justice in that, so it's, I think, fine. A part of his crew. Many of these people who just showed up on his stream would be nicknamed Andy. There was Asian Andy, Mexican Andy, Arab Andy, who is now in prison. I wanted to comment about the fact that, wait a minute, I, I remember something about Ice Poseidon and Andy, so it's different people? I did not even know that. That's amazing. Ima imagine you so, you care so little that you just call them different uh, ethnicities, Andy. Amazing. You uh, YouTube live streamer arrested for college campus bomb threat prank. <laughs> Ah, this is yeah. This this is pretty much accurate. Twitch life's uh, t Twitch IRL prison. But by far my favorite is Burger Andy, who is the dude. I have never even heard about this guy, and he's his favorite. Like, what the fuck? Like, how? Honestly, how can you trump a bomb threat? Pinnacle you of can't. A degenerate streamer. Well, besides the aforementioned blade. Burger nice. Planet, or Burger Andy, is a streamer who is in his 30s and is basically everything wrong with online personalities who try to get famous. It looks like a goddamn pineapple. I look like Morrissey. I look like Bert Nerdy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is just stupid. I I guess it's annoying, but is this the ver- This the- Again- this is this can't be versed in a bomb threat. Okay, every time I look in the mirror, a pineapple. Like, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Over exaggerating, but you know that's that's kind of the dawn for Twitch streamers, YouTubers, or you know any kind of so uh, social media person ever. It's, it's yeah annoying, but completely normal. He has a footprint that goes back nice. to 2008 on YouTube where he would go harass people Damn. at conventions. And I must say you are very marvelous. Definitely one of the sexiest nerds we've seen all day by far. But he saw very little huh? success doing this, deciding to get a normal job and presumably live a normal life. However, his real dream remained to be internet okay. famous. So in his mid 30s, he decided to Wait, live. that's not him. I have seen this picture before. That's not him, is it? No way! I think that's the guy who reviews movies or does something like that. Mid thirties, he decided to leave his wife and kids to become an IRL Twitch streamer. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Maybe there is something that can put Trump a bomb threat. Ah, uh, leaving your family, your children, your wife, saying YOLO, f fuck it, four twenty, blaze it. And just becoming an idol Twitch streamer degenerate. <laughs> ah, 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe there's something at least on the same level. Admittedly, he looks funkishly fat and ugly, so that's also a bonus. Oh boy. By leeching off the most famous IRL streamer at the time, Ice Poseidon. Smart. How would you like to be an IRL streamer and have zero privacy? Well, I have something that can help with that, and it's today's sponsor. <gasps> Private Internet Access. Wait, what? Private Internet Access is the world's most transparent oh, VPN provider. They never record or store any user data, and they'll be able to hide your IP address as well as encrypt your internet. While this is great to safeguard your own. Yeah, you just you just click on his video and do the thing if you want. We're skipping this. Everyone knows what this is. If you want it, get it. Watching some of Andy's interactions with people is, is the he most naked? cringe and pathetic shit I've ever seen. I drink what might have been pissed out of the garbage. <laughs> he became iconic for kissing ass to people in a very insincere and awkward way and some attack. Wait, what do you mean very insincere and awkward way? The average Twitch streamer would not be able to tell if someone is kissing their ass in an awkward way. Let me tell you this. If you even have some reasonable success on Twitch or YouTube, chances are that person cannot relate to the average person anymore. Their self-esteem goes through the roof and they think of themselves as better. And when it comes to bigger streamers, way bigger streamers, like the top of the line, they, uh, their self-worth is, well, literally rivaling Bill fucking Gates. And Bill fucking Gates is a literal goddamn lunatic. 
attempt to further his internet fame. Good luck with your not wanting to have sex with me thing. <laughs> and his leeching wasn't exclusive to Ice Poseidon either, as That's there were good. multiple occasions of him not oh, understanding nice. boundaries and filming people while they didn't want to be filmed. Okay. You're the only person that talked to me in like 30 or 40 minutes. Why are you saying that? Doesn't seem like she doesn't want to get filmed. I live in my minivan. Good luck. Minivan. <laughs> It was very clear by watching him that one, Andy would do anything for a whiff of fame, and two, he had no understanding of personal boundaries. Imagine, imagine you're his kids, by the way. Imagine knowing your dad left you to be a clown on the internet and not even succeed at the end of the day. <laughs> imagine that. that. That feels great. That probably feels great. How about his interaction kids. with Dr. Disrespect, where Doc tells him oh, to shit. never film him ever again after Andy harasses him. We're not gonna film him. Don't let him film me again. Do me a favor, okay? Okay, admittedly, uh, it, it's an asshole thing to do than film, but I'm pretty sure in America it's illegal in all states to film people without their consent. Uh, him saying that don't fill me doesn't actually mean jack shit he can uh, he can legitimately continue filming and this this is what i'm talking about dr disrespect probably thinks that he is in the right and he has some a magic power of telling people don't fill me and they should comply because again doc is a huge fucking big deal and every everyone who is a hu as huge as Doc, you know, uh, they think that their word has a lot more power. In reality, he may be a f uh, fat loser idiot who left his wife, but yeah, if he gets told don't uh, don't record me, that I don't think that means shit. Unless it's some kind of magical American state where recording people without consent is a thing, which I don't think it is. I may be wrong, but you know, I doubt it. Okay. You hear me? <laughs> what? Don't ever... Hey. Bruh. Alright, we'll get away from Holy him. shit, this guy's being such a dick, though. <laughs> ah, amazing. Which, if you had any questions about if Andy was playing a character, check him out no. crying after this interaction. That's definitely not a character, by the way, Dad. This, this was just pure fucking stupidity. And want to, he he probably thought that he's gonna get something out of filming him, you know? He he definitely thought that it's a chance and he just fucking took it. Alright, cool. I wasn't doing anything weird. I don't fucking know. Oh shit, he actually cried, bitch. Wow. Andy is the perfect example of somebody who will do literally anything for a shred of fame. Some of his attempts at going viral include stealing pizza from a homeless man, <laughs> punching his friend in the nuts to win an exhibition boxing match, nice. and him trying to bring a mentally handicapped woman back to his van. <laughs> I only live in, I live in my minivan though. Oh! You wanna go party in the minivan? Yeah, this guy's a bad guy. Frank Chrissy? Well. On the mouth? No. I believe Good thing she said no. Oh, look at that. It's Ninja. Don't know who that is, though. Every quality of an... Oh, look. It's Logan Paul or Jake Paul. I don't know what's the difference. Awful. And the other one is... Don't know again. Ooh. Internet personality slash Twitch streamer and combine them into one thing. This is what you get. One thing to note is that <laughs> if you go to any compilation... Burger Andy's life's biggest failure. Dude! Man, don't you, man, I, I don't think, I, I don't think there's such, a, you know, I rarely think that there's such a thing as going too far, but man, try, trying to go, trying to get it on with a handicapped girl like this, I, 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 I honestly will draw a line at something, and that, that's probably it, that's, that's probably actually a pretty fucking clear line in the sand, you know? ...of him on YouTube. All of the comments are saying he deserves every bad thing that happens to him. Obviously. But if you're going to watch one video of Burger Andy, this is the one you have to. It is by far the best video of Burger Andy, and one of the best videos online, in my opinion, where okay. he's trying to get on Ice Poseidon's party bus. You said I get Wait, what, what, party bus? Oh my god, I fucking hate Ice Poseidon so much, it's insane. It, it's just... It, it, how can how did he even become popular 
Well, he started with RuneScape, but that's besides the point. How how can how does this even how does life even work? You know. But seriously, why do you have a fucking pot? Are you having a party bus? It looks like it's day also. And I just ate a worm and shit. Dude, it's sketchy out here. I don't have to walk back through there. Well, I mean, why'd you come here? I came here to see you guys. You said I could come with you. <laughs> Look at this. Face. Look at his face, yeah. I was gonna say the fucking say. <laughs> Dude, look at him! He does- it's, it's like there's no chin at all! It's like his neck just goes until it there's the mouth. This is amazing. Imagine that, and this motherfucker actually got to reproduce. Some of you motherfuckers have no chance at that, and this guy has two kids. Ouch. That must be painful. Look at this face. Disgusting. So for those of you who enjoy this kind of content for some reason, or even enjoy stuff with a slight bit of edge to it, Twitch isn't the platform for you. Because over the past little while, it seems Twitch has done everything in its power to make every wrong decision possible. Such as creating okay. categories to filter streamers by race, gender, and sexual orientation. <laughs> in case you really didn't want to watch some... <laughs> Race, gender, sexual on it. Dude! Dude! <laughs> that's a dysto- That's a very woke thing. A dystopian thing, but very woke. Very woke. Someone of a specific one of those things, I guess. Twitch is a bit of a degenerate platform. Oh, fuck me. That should be banned. Whoa! Oh, disgusting. F now, now, there's one thing leaving your wife and children to be a degenerate that eats out of a garbage b pile and robs homeless people and tries to reproduce with autistic girls. But it's a completely different thing to be a 40. That's just flat out fucking wrong. By itself, horrible decisions are driving many streamers away from the platform right now. Like stupid bans that are never explained, such as this guy's username, which was Doanel, because Twitch <laughs> thought his name I was actually know this one. Was do anal yeah, do anal. Who went into Pokemon's chat and got people to spam L. I have talked about the Gideon thing, and one, he decided to, to attack Twitch's golden girl, Pokemon. Like, Twitch is gonna probably forgive you a lot of things, but attacking Pokemon, the literal golden goddess of Twitch, the only hope for, you know, we're talking about Pokemon, the girl that uh, false copy stri uh, strike Gundam, then apologized, then did it a fucking again, and, you know, has done a lot of fucking shady and asshole shit, and her personality is 100% fake. And now she's trying to live the I'm a King Kardashian ty type of lifestyle. You know, when when that is literally your best shot at a re female representation, you have problems. And Gideon, Gideon fucking decided he can attack Twitch's best female creator? Not happening. Also, uh, on a completely serious note, there was no fucking way he doesn't get banned. Even if it's not Pokemon, there's no way. Because if if he did not get banned, admittedly you could argue, does he get banned for a year? Does he get perma banned? You know, that, that, that there's an argument in that. But the idea that you would not get banned on Twitch as being a huge creator and you have a uh, because he did get people to go into his chat and spam l plus ratio and it doesn't matter if you think this is a joke it doesn't matter if you think that uh, this uh, this is whatever the fact is if twitch didn't ban him it would just allow pretty much ev every big streamer to just uh, make his uh, to make I mean, it would just be used as a tool by big could be used as a tool for huge creators to harass people they don't like you know you don't like someone well just tell you uh, tell your stream to go and spam l in their chat you know it, it, it would it would be really bad if they didn't do it admittedly again permanent way too long but again he did attack pokemon the golden goddess of twitch L plus ratio kind of a dick move but guess what permanent ban how about this girl who literally ah uh, yes on stream seven day ban you can mess up seven day ban but i think she was unbanned faster if i remember correctly it's great a naughty word and be blacklisted forever but if you literally do this slap on the wrist they also enable people like oh disgusting the deer fiasco 
Dude, you you should not, dude. There is absolutely no way this person is fucking sane. A deer, a fucking deer, deer gasms on stream, and the and Twitch decided, yeah, you know what? That's community moderator material right there. Mm-hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. And you know what she said later on? I have power now. And people should, and some people should fear that I have power now. Because I can use it. Or something along those lines. Don't want to misquote. But, you know, you it's really bad. Women to have power on their platform who, in case you're wondering, believes she is a deer and... <clears throat> Oh, that's the deer fucking gasm. Yeah. Oh, disgusting. This person yeah, was put on the safety advisory council. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And oh. honestly, there, there is some... Uh, yeah, this is the quote I was looking for. This is the thing. It's a little bit different than what I said, but pretty much conveys the same message. People that should be afraid of me. But people who Shit. actually shoot off a real live gun while getting drunk on stream get banned. Freaking snowflake, <laughs> am I right, man? In all seriousness, ah, oh, that's a ten out of ten. The inconsistent ban rules and enforcements have led to people like Dead Mouse leaving the platform permanently and terminating his partnership. But who fucking cares about Dead Mouse? For streamers, this isn't really an option. The only choice True. we have is to go to another platform. And back in the day, this wasn't really an option. But now, True. not only is it a fail safe. But it's a pretty good alternative in YouTube. While well, YouTube still no, YouTube's not gonna do that. Uh, again, if Doctor Disrespect could get back on Twitch and forsake YouTube for all eternity, he would fucking do it in a heartbeat. The reality is, yeah, they have a following and some people leave with it, but YouTube just doesn't give them the same growth potential as Twitch. Still has a million different problems. There are many stories of people getting banned on Twitch for small things. Then switching to YouTube and it's totally fine. For example, well, yeah, but we also have had situations where you know girls on Twitch are literally whoring themselves out, and you know that's kind of not okay. Well, Pyrocynical had his sub button removed for. Let's Isn't Pyrocynical a forty? Uh, what wasn't Pyrocynical a literal forty, by the way? Let's just say sketchy. Re I I I haven't watched him. I know who he is and I know what he does. I haven't really, really watched him, and I haven't heard too much about him. There was once some kind of allegation about playground enthusiasm, if you know what I mean. But isn't he a forty? I'm pretty sure I remember something when he was just confirmed to be a literal forty. So you know, in my opinion, that's enough to take away your Twitch partnership right there. If you are a forty, well, hunting season, I guess. Reasons that came down to inconsistent at best and malicious at worst. He moves to YouTube and voila, everything is fine. Now YouTube may be annoying, but they aren't stupid. Most <laughs> YouTube's pretty fucking stupid. Most of the time. They see how bad Twitch has been fucking up recently and are keen to take advantage of it. What? No. 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 YouTube's not taking ad advantage of anything. YouTube just knows that they are way bigger. At at some point, like I can tell you the I can tell you the idea of YouTube. Uh, they don't really care too much about how many people leave Twitch for YouTube, because the reality is, uh, Twitch uh, doesn't make a lot. Of, Twitch is struggling making enough money. YouTube itself is struggling making uh, enough money. YouTube is the biggest platform by far for content creators to be on. If YouTube wanted, they could push uh, themselves to be better than Twitch in literally probably a month or two. But there's no reason for them to do it, because the reality is, with the amount of people on YouTube compared to Twitch, and Twitch is literally uh, 10xing Twitch easy every single fucking day, uh, they, uh, you know, if they just make it good enough for streamers, they will, uh, they will, uh, consume all the streamers off of Twitch, because t simply YouTube will be the better choice. Currently, Twitch is the default better choice. But YouTube is not rushing, because they understand that they can do it anytime. They can destroy Twitch most likely anytime they really want, because they are simply that much bigger as a platform. 
signing big streamers to exclusive lucrative contracts. Now, people like you may be preying on Twitch's downfall, but keep yeah, in it's mind, not happening. where do all these people go? Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, this thing's in front. They, they go to YouTube, but most of them want back. Remember Tumblr? Remember how when that imploded, Twitter and Reddit got way worse? Because do you want stuff like this on YouTube? No. Well, I mean, I actually do find Amarant hot and attractive, I'm not gonna lie. I find her a degenerate piece of filth human, but I'm not gonna lie. Amarant is hot. It's true. Anyway, this was pretty interesting. Uh, this was Quizzer Simpson. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye bye.